Welcome back, everybody. We are here on the Unorthoblox server one last time. This is where we all started. This is my starter house. The valley has changed a bit from when we started. It was a bit, um, let's say there wasn't as much stuff. So people have gone a bit crazy. But I started this modest little house right here because I needed a place to kind of a base of operations to start things off at. So I put in this cute little two story building. Simple bed and storage upstairs, a little eating area, workstation downstairs. And then a nice little, you know, porch here overlooking this nice steamy little hot springs. And then, so after I built my house here, I needed a way to get out of the valley because there wasn't a, there was no way out of here except over the top. And I didn't want to climb up over that whole thing. So I figured, well, what better way to get through here than a tunnel? And I wanted to make it big enough so we could get, ride our horses through or fly. You could even fly through here if you're, if you're careful enough. So this is uh, one of the first projects, making this nice, nice tunnel so we can get to the outside, get out of our spawn valley into the real world. More, uh, more little hot springs here, a little cul-de-sac, not cul-de-sac, but it's a roundabout, I guess it is. Cul-de-sac is in, it's roundabout goes around and around and around like this. So I figure this, once you get out of here, this is the hub, so you can go any way you want. And the way we went is this way. Heading off to this, um, I think we're going, are we going north? Heading off to the south. We are going south. Out of the spawn tunnel, following the road south, we head past Jam's Village. And along this road that I built, leading all the way around to my base. And the first thing you will notice are the wheat and sugarcane farms that I've added here. So starting out, I built a small farming area right along the river here. And then I just sort of expanded it all the way down until I hit these uh, very large red silos. And then along the other riverbank, I added in some stables and then this uh, camel house that I built in one of my episodes. So we had this wandering camel coming across the field, so I had to build a house for it because it ended up in my pen somehow. So it took me a while to figure out what kind of design style I was going to use, so I ended up using uh, terracotta to create uh, the iron farm. And then from there I just expanded it to all the other buildings. So as the season progressed I added in a cocoa bean farm, and then some bamboo and kelp farms which I used to uh, feed into my smelter building which has this little workshop attached to it, so I could use the bamboo and the kelp for fuel for smelting ice. The smelter did have a slightly different design than the others, but I, it was just kind of a nice design that I just thought of on the fly. So heading underground below the smelter is this large cavern, which is actually a, basically a perfect sphere sitting around this abandoned nether portal. So I decided that would be perfect for my own nether portal, so I fixed that up. And then I also did work on the opposite side inside the nether to do a nice conversion of the space to make it unique. So from here, if we head on south, it's going to take us right past Cowtown. So this is where I put in like, all these individual buildings for each cow so they have their own you know, own unique house with their feed and their water, so each cow has its own place to live and then keeps them nice and happy. And then we have this gigantic skeleton I built, which marks the location of my skeleton farm. 
Of course, this encouraged Iondis and Sunny Spacecraft to respond with a skelly of their own, which is shooting a giant carrot my way. And of course, this could not go unchallenged, so I had to uh, call out my air defense system to protect my skeleton lands. So if we keep pushing further on south, over the bridge, and then through the tunnel, we will get to what I'm calling Chicken Itza, because that is where all my chickens live. I built this village for all my chickens. Each chicken has their own house, and it's a little bigger than the cows, just because these guys came second. So I just had more time and energy to build chicken houses than I did cow houses. And then finally, the road will take us all the way to our south beach. So I've got this unique house, which probably was the second build I did on the server. I just uh, went for it with different types of blocks. It looks a little weird, I'll admit myself. And then I put in this nice panda enclosure for my pandas that I had hauled all the way from far south. So I guess that brings season three to a close. I've built all I can build. And honestly, I'm surprised I did get this much done uh, this season. Because I honestly, aside from picking out this area, I didn't have any plans. I had no idea what I was going to do or what I was going to build. So I just sort of winged it. Ooh, oh, okay. Whew, I didn't die. Boy. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I just winged it and just started building stuff. Which is kind of why this looks the way it does with all the different blocks. I was just sort of goofing off and experimenting. So I really not quite sure I like that, but I'm going to leave it. I tend to build stuff and then leave it as I've uh, built it. So you just have to live with it. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to, uh, to watch these videos and uh, I did leave links to the other uh, server members they are, have done or are doing final prep on season three and we are getting ready for season four I will be back for season four I'm trying to come up with a plan this time I've got a, a, a vague idea I uh, don't have a real plan yet uh, which means I need to get to work because that's gonna start soon really soon 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 so so stay tuned and uh i will see you later so bye bye now for now but i will be back